we are getting a 3D printer for quick prototyping and mold making for our props and weapons. The famous one, the, the MakerBot, I think those are on like $2,500. The one we're basing off of is like $1,700 and that's just getting the kit parts and putting everything together. We wanted to save money and I feel that I have enough skills to put everything together. So one of the processes that I needed was a laser cutter to cut the parts, the mechanical structural parts um, for the printer um, because we can't build molds, cast metal, stuff like that like normal manufacturing companies can and that's where you, you get the increased cost. So laser cutting wood is a huge benefit because you very detailed, intricate designs that are functional once you put everything together. We did increase our costs. It is a very nice printer, more than the basic user handmade, homemade printers that are out there. It's much bigger build volume, so you can make bigger objects and the resolution of the prints are very high. It's not too big, so we can't do like a full size assault rifle, but maybe like a Magnum you could do. But I wanna build them in a way that work with having mechanisms to fire it with some compressed CO2 or air or something like that, or spring loaded. We also wanted it to utilize it for our company in general too, to make more equipment for us. I know we've been talking about stabilization equipment, quadcopter stuff, you know, things to really enhance the way we can shoot our films. I'm hoping that we can build the weapons so that we can integrate blowback for our actors so they don't have to pretend to do it. And so we can use that and make very intricate parts that work with like pre-existing airsoft guns. Now, how pissed off know. is Alicia that it's just lying around everywhere? <laughs> she does Alicia. the same thing with all her projects. When she does it. I don't leave them around for months on end. Like a week. <laughs>